We're here today in the studio. We have Dr. Salins here. Um, would you like to give a little bit of an introduction as to who you are? Sure, I'm the superintendent for Queen Anne's County Public Schools. And so you guys are getting very involved with the Goes Purple. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure, we have had a partnership with the district for many years, the community, and promoting Queen Anne's County Goes Purple, such a good initiative and so impactful to our our population here in Queen Anne's County and we're really getting geared up to mm -hmm. kick off. We have a kickoff event coming up that we're partnering again with the county that's on September 10th at 6 o'clock so I want to give a little you know shout out for that. Mm -hmm. We have students that will be there entertaining. We also have some other activities that will go on and then Dr. Marsha Sprankle, who is our new assistant superintendent for schools will be there to speak on behalf of the school district and there'll be other people speaking too. So it's a great event. I encourage everyone to come out. So there's a lot of additional activities that students can do as well, right? Like within the schools? Absolutely. So we have this year new, we have student ambassadors and they will be partnering with the schools to have purple clubs. And so in the spring, they'll kick off and do additional activities. The cool part about that is we know that September is the purple month, but we want to make sure we keep that going through the whole school year. And so our new student ambassadors will help us to do that. But we do a lot of other activities from everything from billboards to banners, balloons, giveaways. We just we work with our sheriff's department, commissioners, our state's attorney to push into the schools. They do presentations for our students. We also actually have a person who teaches what's called a Botvin life skills program and that helps our students to really understand what skills they need in order to uh, come across some challenging things in their life as it may relate to opioids and things like that. So how do they have life skills they need to address the different situations that may be challenging as they're teenagers and moving through until young adults. So how can the community get involved with this? Well, the community can do a lot of different things. They can support by participating in the, the upcoming kickoff. They can also support our students by talking to them, simply talking about this crisis that is before us and how do we you know, combat this crisis. We know that we have also our, our teachers by wearing, we have Queen Anne's County Goes Purple t-shirts. They're amazing. So our teachers really are our community as well. And so they can support every Friday. They can wear other purple shirts to be able to promote and just build awareness to this crisis and how we can together work to provide our skills a skill set so that they don't get into trouble with it. And can you tell me a little bit more about the kickoff event as well? Sure. So again, that is six o'clock. It's on the courtyard square and it'll start off with some students who will be doing some performances, some entertainment. Then we'll have some different booths and things like that. Um, and then we'll have a series of guest speakers that'll just talk about our different partnerships and what we can do in the community to help. And some of those things, you can dispense of your uh, medications that you no longer need in an appropriate manner. That's really important because that's one of the number one things that um, students have access to and that is just right in your cabinet, in your bathroom. So if you have um, a prescription that you no longer need or haven't used the whole thing, um, you should be disposing of that appropriately and not just leaving it for access for students. That access can obviously be uh, opening to something more severe down the road. So you know things like that, building awareness, will be different activities there during the kickoff for people to learn more about how we can help our students to make good decisions. So there's a lot of good information. Is there anything else that you uh, want to cover with this event? I'm trying to think if there's anything else. It's just a, a great opportunity to come together as a community. So I would just encourage everybody to try to make time to be there. Again, we have Dr. Marsha Sprankle will be there on behalf of the school district, and they'll hear from her some of the different things we're doing in the school district to support this initiative, not only in September, but throughout the entire school year. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming in and talking you. about such an important cause and event. Absolutely. And yes. Up, so. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the time. Of course. Thank you so much.